Hi, in this video, we'll see how to work with drill down and hierarchies. So I've created a file that's W worksheet, the workbook that is drill down and hierarchies. And the data source which I'm using is nothing but orders sheet from global data source 2016. Now what exactly is drill down and hierarchies? Suppose if I want to create a hierarchy of let's say city, state or country, I can create one hierarchy. If I want to create a hierarchy of you can say as day, month, quarter and years, I can create another hierarchy. So if I want, I can keep on creating multiple hierarchies. I can keep on expanding at this place. I'll explain you better with the help of this example. Now, for example, if I pick up here from this place, I want to see the sales done by the category. So I'll pick up the sales here in the, uh, in the columns field and rows I'll put the category wise. Now, if I want to see the sales done by the subcategory wise, again, what I can do is I can just pick up this option from here that is subcategory and I'll drop it in this place. So if you see furniture has multiple subcategories which are given here as bookcases, chairs and furnitures. So every time if I want to see the category wise sales, I have to drag and drop it here. Every time if I want to see the subcategory wise sales, I have to pick up and drop, drop it here. Now what I'll do is I'll try to combine this subcategory and category into one place that is nothing but a hierarchy, play, hierarchy thing. So how do I create a hierarchy here is I just need to select this subcategory and I have to leave it on the place where it belongs to. So I'll just drag it and take it on the top. Okay. And I'll just drop it on this category part. If you see that's a category, now it's a plus sign. The moment I click on this plus sign, it says, if you want to create a hierarchy, give the name of the hierarchy. So I'll give the name as products. So I'll type here as products and observe here, there is no plus sign at this place. Once I create a hierarchy, so I'll type as products. And if I click on OK, here there will be a plus sign. Okay, if you see there's a plus and minus sign which has come because it is already expanded. Now, what's the beauty of this creating hierarchies? It can be drilled down to the lowest level. So if I click on this minus sign and if you see, I can see the sales done by the category wise. If I click on this maximize button, I can see the sales done by subcategory wise. If you still want, you can just remove this category and throw it outside. So you can see now based on subcategory, you can see the sales which are given here. Okay. So the, the, the more you keep on creating categories, the more you can drill down basically. Drilling down is nothing but you can just keep on expanding the pills which are given here. These are pills. This is a pills which is given here. So if I want to add one more field, if I want to add one more field to this products hierarchy, I just need to simply drag and drop it. You see where is the place you want to drop it. You can select here. So I'll just again drag and drop it here. Okay. Now if you observe here, now if you observe here, category, subcategory and the product name. Now there are three things which will come in that hierarchy. If you observe, if I click on this plus sign subcategory, I'm, I'm getting a product name because after subcategory, I have a product name which is given here. Okay. If you want, you can remove this subcategory and throw it outside. Now you're getting a sales based on this product name. Okay. So the best one is you can just drag down. You simply pick up the products if you want the entire one and drop it here. Now the category and the third one, second one is subcategory and the third one is product. So based on this hierarchy wise, you can drill down. If you think you want to just change the order, you can just pick up this product name and you can drop it before this category. Okay. And if you observe here, if I just click on this minus sign. Yeah. Now if I click on this product name, it comes category. Again, if I click on this category, it comes as subcategory. So all these options are given here. So this is what we have defined the category wise and we are drilling down. There are some categories which are auto defined. So for example, I'll show you with the help of example that is date categories. Yeah. So here it is. If you see here, there's nothing but given as order date. There's an order date. I'll just pick up and drop it in the columns. And second one, I'll pick up the sales and put in the rows. Now I want to see sales done based on the timeline or I can say as based on the days, months, quarters and years. Here, if you see there's a plus sign, I can expand this pill here. So if I click on this plus sign, okay, I'm getting the quarters part. But if you observe, there's no quarters, there's no years. There's only one thing that is orders date. And there's a call. You can see the calendar icon. The data type is nothing but the date icon, which is here, given here. Date, data type. Now, here, if you see, I'm getting 2012 based on the quarters, 2013 based on the quarters and so on. So if you, if I still want to expand, I can just expand this quarters and I'll be getting as months. So 2012 Q1, which is February. 2012 Q2, which is the other month that is May, August and so on. Okay. Again, if you expand, you'll be getting as day wise order where it can be used. 
suppose if you're a manager of a company and if you want to see the day wise sales or the month wise sales you can just use this option that is drilling down i can just minimize minimize again and minimize this one right so this is what you call as discrete i'm getting the discrete data field the sales which are given here now suppose if i do not want the discrete i want the continuous data which is given here so i can just click on this drop down okay and this stands for the discrete and this stands for the continuous so now i'll select this as year from here at this place so you see the color also has changed earlier it was blue color now it has become as green color so if i click on expand i will not get the another pill i'll get the same pill the only thing is 2012 the year is also coming here and the quarter is also visible so if you see that's a quarter wise sales which are given if i expand this one i'll be getting as month wise sales so as a manager again as said as a team leader you can find out which year which month the sales was highest which year which month the sales was lowest and if you want you can scroll down on the right hand side and you can find out again if i click on this plus sign it says week which week of which year and which month the sales was highest so here if you see i can just figure out i can just keep my cursor here and it says week of order date that is 15th november 2015 the sales were done so and so thing if i want to find out the lowest sales for example the lowest sales is i think this one so i'll just keep my cursor it says week of order date 1st july 2012 okay that is how it is given so if you click on this plus sign again these are the day wise which month is the highest you can say the sales so you can just keep your cursor it says day of order date that is 7 september so this way you can just keep on drilling down if you do not want the same pattern if you want the previous one which you are happy with you can just click on this drop down from this you can pick up the continuous date fields from this you can pick up the discrete date fields so i'll pick up as the discrete date fields now this one is a discrete field and i'll keep on getting separate pills for each one so for years i'll get separate for quarters i'll get separate but whereas when it is a continuous date field i cannot get the separate pills for that so i'll get a same pill which will keep on expanding itself right so i hope you able to understand how we can work with the drill down and creating hierarchies and the last thing i'll show you how to remove the hierarchies you can just select this hierarchy and you can just click on this drop down and you can select the option as remove hierarchy okay and the hierarchy will go away okay and you can also not see that the expand and minimize the hierarchy or you can see as the pills option here right so i hope you able to understand how do we work with the drill down and hierarchies that's all for this video